Hello. Um, I just want to share uh, just a wee word that God has put upon my heart, and I just really hope it encourages someone. Um, I was driving home from work yesterday, and just one word God just dropped into my spirit, and it was the word identity. And it was, you know, as if the Lord was saying to, to me, our identity is in Christ. And as Christians, that is our identity. He, we are complete in him. And I just know that the the world and just so many people, and I know including myself um, in times of my life, struggle with our identity. And it's something that the enemy tries to steal in so many people. We do not accept sometimes who we are, just, you know, and we struggle with our identity and it's something the enemy tries to steal from us. But the Lord kept dropping in my spirit, our identity is in Christ. And we live in a world that so many people is struggling with their identity. And this is happening so much more in our young ones via social media. The struggle because the enemy whispers in their ear that don't quite match up. They're not as good as other people. They're not as gifted. They're maybe not as good looking or as popular. And they struggle with their identity and they think they're not worth anything at all. And that's why the suicide rate is so high. And just you just hear it all the time. And just God kept saying people struggle with their identity. But, you know, the enemy is so subtle and he whispers so many lies into so many lives that are not truth. Because every one of us, Christian or non-Christian, is made in the image of Christ. And this is our identity. And we have all been given unique talents and gifts. And we all need to learn to accept our identity. I know that it's something just really upon my heart because I struggled myself with identity. And even as a Christian... And the enemy is so subtle and what he does, he comes in and he com- gets us to compare ourselves with other people. One of his greatest weapons is comparing ourselves with other lives, with other Christians. And I done that. I did do that for some of my Christian walk, compared myself, compared um, just those that were seemed to be more gifted, more popular, more confident and even just just compared and it's just a real subtle thing that the enemy wants to do in the lives of of his own and you know what it's just one way of us not accepting our identity and you know I thank God that he has set me free from that and I don't I don't compare myself with anybody else because we've all been given our own identity and our identity is in Christ and he's given us each unique gifts and abilities and we should not look at anybody else or or what anybody else is doing because God has called us all to something different we don't need to look to anybody else or what they're doing or what they're not doing and we don't need to yes the enemy will come and he will try to come in in other ways and um you know he's just so subtle and he's a master of deception but you know what our identity is in Christ he loves us he made us unique he made us just our, there's only one of us, you know, <laughs> and I just praise God that there's there's no carbon copies of, of me or you or just any, you know, people that is watching this, you know, you don't need to um, compare yourself with anybody else. And I just think God wants people to accept their identity, especially as his own blood bought church, that our identity is in him and he loves us. And we, we need to keep our eyes focused upon him. We don't need to look to the left or to the right or what other people is doing because God has equipped us all. He's, he's given us all something in the kingdom to do. And yes, people, there might be those that might do loads of things and there might be, you might be called to do just one thing, but you know, do that with all your heart and serve the Lord and keep your eyes focused on him. My heart breaks when I see so many children growing up and social media it just it has its place but you know there's just 
so many young lives are, are bullied through through social media and do you know what there's a, those groups that and there's always been those groups you know that they're they're not as popular they're they're maybe not as good looking they don't feel the measure up and then the enemy and then the feel of no place in the society and 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 they just the enemy just whispers in the ear that they're not good enough and it's a lie straight from the pit of hell and my heart breaks that just so many people would know their identity and their identity is in Christ and they are valuable and they are worth oh they are worth everything to God you know what I mean so just a wee short word on my heart thank you God bless